Welcome to CGMA's Abstract Effects in Houdini course. Abstraction and non-traditional effects are of wide use in the entertainment industry, whether it's for creating a power source or a beautiful abstract magical element. Learning how to create abstraction in Houdini is truly necessary. This course will focus on using Houdini outside of the traditional FX pipeline. Houdini can do much more than simulations and explosions. Here, we'll be using Houdini as a design tool, focusing on abstraction and non-traditional FX. We'll be looking at lots of inspirational forms from nature and architecture and learning how to create procedural networks that capture the essence of them. Rather than completing one large project, we'll be tackling small tools and concepts that you can use as building blocks for larger ideas and visions. The goal is to get you thinking procedurally, embracing the core concepts of Houdini, and pushing you into new creative territory by expanding your toolset. Here's what you will learn. Week 1. We need to start from an understanding of design principles and how they relate to CG image creation. It's not enough to press random buttons and hope for a good result. We need to know why we are doing something, not just accept that it feels right. Week 2. What does it mean to make something more organic? A lot of times it means we need to add variation into our designs. So how do we do this? This week, we'll be discussing ways of adding randomization and subtle variation. We'll look at the available noise functions, understand their uses and differences, and build upon our knowledge from week one. Week three. This week is a hard look at all things related to the copy SOP. We'll dive deep into copy and instancing attributes, stamping expressions, and learn how to harness the full power of the suite of copy operators. We'll also discuss when and how to instance geometry at render time and do so efficiently. Week four. Volumes are used all over Houdini but for the average user are little understood. This week, we are going to discuss all things related to volumes in Houdini. We'll specifically discuss VDB workflows and how we can create forms that would be almost impossible to model by hand or with other processes. Week five, point clouds can be used for all kinds of effects, but can seem intimidating at first. We are going to make them simple and easy to understand, looking at ways of using them in various contexts. We'll do a small amount of coding here, assuming you have no previous coding experience. Week 6. Fractals. Recursive and repetitive forms are a hallmark of a specific genre of abstract effects. We'll look at different ways of fractalizing geometry in Houdini, from implementing simple fractals to L systems. Week 7. Emergent and evolving systems give a mathematical approach to mimicking nature. These systems evolve over time to simulate growth processes that are analogous to the real world. We'll look at a few growth algorithms and learn how to make our own system with our own rules. Week 8. We have assembled a large amount of tools and knowledge. This week, we'll focus on how to bring that knowledge into a final product. We'll look at rendering tips, material settings, and how to finish a piece. For the next 8 weeks, you will have the industry's best artist as your mentor, allowing you to rapidly improve your skills by having access to industry standard training and information in a one-on-one -on -one mentoring environment. Each week, you will have access to pre-recorded content that you will be able to access and review at any time, followed with a challenging homework assignment that will be reviewed weekly by your mentor, allowing you to master the skills needed to get into the industry. Once a week, you will also have a live Q&A session where you can interact with your mentor and ask any question. The live Q&A will be recorded and you will have access to it at any time. I really hope you enjoy this course, and the CGMA team is excited to see what you will come up with. Register today at cgmasteracademy.com.